So now that we've taken a look at the class B push-pull output stage, I wanted to do an example with some power calculations. Uh, I've drawn here my class B push-pull output stage, just like the one we've previously discussed. Notice that I've made the power supply symmetrical, plus minus 6 volts. My load resistance is 4 ohms, and my output voltage uh, is a sinusoidal wave with a peak voltage of 4.5 volts. And the first thing I'm going to calculate is the output power, which is the power delivered to the load. Again, since we're talking about the sinusoidal signal, we typically will calculate the average power over a cycle. So I can calculate my uh, average power delivered to the load over one cycle as simply one half of VOP squared divided by RL. In this case, one half of 4.5 volts squared divided by 4, which is the load resistance. And that gives me 2.53 watts. Next, I want to find out the average power that is drawn from the supplies over one cycle. Uh, there are two supplies. The positive supply is going to deliver power during the positive half cycle. The negative supply is going to deliver power during the negative half cycle. Since they are symmetrical supplies, each of them is going to deliver the same amount of average power over its particular half cycle. And so I can say uh, the supply power from V plus average is equal to the supply power from V minus average. And that was equal to 1 over pi times VOP divided by RL times VCC. Or 1 over pi times 4.5 divided by 4 times 6. And that comes out to 2.15 watts. And again, that's the power delivered by each supply over half a cycle. So if I want the average power drawn from both supplies over an entire cycle, um, PS average will be equal to twice that, 2 times 2.15, which will be 4.3 watts. And so my power efficiency for this particular circuit under these particular uh, circumstances, meaning with those supplies and a maximum or peak output voltage of 4.5 volts, is going to be equal to PL over PS, or 2.53 watts divided by 4.3 watts, which is equal to 58.8%. Um, And the final thing is, if I wanted to select transistors for this particular application, I will want to know what's the minimum power rating of my transistors for them to work under these conditions. And we have that the power dissipated uh, in the transistors is going to be equal to the difference between the power provided by the supplies and the power delivered to the load. And so it's going to be equal to uh, 4.3 minus 2.53. or 1.77 watts. Now that's the average power dissipated um, on both transistors over an entire cycle. Uh, each transistor is going to dissipate power over half a cycle, and so each transistor is going to dissipate half of that power over, um, over an entire cycle, or over the particular half cycle. And therefore, I will have that the power dissipated on transistor N equals the power dissipated on transistor P, which is equal to uh, 1.77 watts divided by 2, or 0.91 watts. And so uh, that's the power dissipated. Obviously, when I go to select my transistors, I will want to err on the side of caution and select transistors with a maximum power dissipation that is um, slightly above that specification. Thank you.